Back in America, they began to analyse Lucy. She was classified as an Australopithecine, an ape-like creature, and was dated at about 3.2 million years old, just older than 1470. But then, as they slowly put the bones together, there came proof that she really was a human ancestor. Because this ape-like creature had one clear human characteristic, and it wasn't a big brain, but something quite different. She seemed to walk in a way that only humans do. Lucy was, as scientists say, bipedal, unlike apes who are quadrupedal. She walked on two legs, not four. Fortunately, we had uh, most of her pelvis preserved, which of course is a critical part in terms of how an animal locomotes. For example, uh, a quadrupedal, a four-legged chimpanzee, uh, this example, for example, is very different from what we see in Lucy's pelvis. And in, in many, many respects, not identical, but in many aspects, Lucy's pelvis reminds us of our own. Here is a, a pelvis of a modern human walking on two legs, and the similarities are quite striking. No mammals apart from humans have ever walked on two legs, and there was more. They found Lucy's footprints. The fossilized Lytoli footprints were discovered in northern Tanzania in 1976. They are 3.6 million years old, almost the same age as Lucy, and were just the same size as her feet. They seem to confirm that Australopithecines like Lucy had walked on two legs. We're looking at the soft anatomy of, of early human ancestors who walked across a volcanic ash and left an impression of what their feet looked like. We see that their feet were shaped just like ours that they walked around in a manner that was almost identical to ourselves. If Lucy had walked on two legs, then it seemed she had to have been a human ancestor. And that's when the trouble started, because Lucy's brain was just too small. <laughs> 